<laughs> Very excited to welcome Emmy Award winning choreographer and amazing dancer and all around good guy who has danced with everybody like Janet Jackson, like uh, Jennifer Lopez, like, well, you've worked with everybody also, including Taylor Swift, Paula Abdul, the list goes on and on. Uh, also being a part of Broadway shows like Fosse and Chicago, and everybody knows you as well from So You Think You Can Dance, Tice DiOrio. Hi, Tice. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> We're so happy to have you uh, on the show. And T, I'm going to start and make you ask the first question this time. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, well, why don't you tell the fans? Because it's funny when we did the live stream, like it's, you think you know people or that you've talked about certain things, right? So I don't really know where you, st I'm, I just assume there's a lot of things I assumed, right? Like when he was saying that some of these, the projects that he did were like his first. I'm like, no, you've been dancing forever since. So tell us kind of just like where you grew up and what, what made you start dancing? I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, the great, great place to grow up in the in city life. And I, um, my cousin uh, was an actor um, in television and film and was on Broadway in a in a play with Harvey Firestein called Torch Song Trilogy. And he was on a TV show called Welcome Back Cotter. And he did some films like Eddie and the Cruises. He was a great, great actor. And um, he met my dance teacher up at a dance studio in Manhattan, because he used to take dance as well, you know, voice and dance and all of that. And, and uh, he met my dance teacher up at Phil Black's dance studio in New York City. And so he had said, you know, the, a friend of mine has a dance studio in Brooklyn. And I and I said, OK, I'd like to go. I'd like to go take a class. And I was dancing on Saturdays from like 12 to 2 with kids my age at this corner like place that they rented out for. It was like great music, DJ. They had parties there, but it, there was, it was a place for kids to dance on Saturday from 12 to two. And we just freestyled and like danced with each other and just kind of had fun. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking some class. And so I went to this studio called Horizons Dance Center and I met three of the greatest women ever in my life. My dance teachers are literally like everything I am and they were, they are the greatest and like, it was my it became my family i walked into <laughs> i walked into a dance class and there you know my teacher she was teaching the combination i think that first week and i was learning the combination and and then the second time i went back i was crying in the in the whatever in the waiting room there before i was going in and, and they were like why are you so sad tice why are you sad and i was like is this is this where I'm gonna be standing for the dance? Like I thought they were teaching the, the choreography, but it was only a combination, Tina. It was only a combination. And I thought, is this where we're standing? Because I wasn't okay standing where I was standing. I wanted to be in the front, but oh. I couldn't. I didn't wanna tell the, I didn't wanna tell the dance teacher and my mother that that's why I was crying. But, but now looking back, I was <laughs> like, you know what? That was actually a good thing in my mind because I was like, Yes, I wanted to I wanted to exist where I wanted to exist and that's not a bad thing in my mind. So I can't. but it's it's a comedy story because why are you crying, Tice? Cuz I wasn't standing where I thought I should be standing. But hey, stupid, we're just learning the combinations. Chill out. <laughs> I'm curious. At that what? time how old were you at that time? I was like 10. <laughs> You know, most kids are crying in the waiting room because they don't want to go in, right? Or they don't want to be in the front. And here's Tice going, I'm ready for my close up. I wanted to be in the front. I mean, I, and I just didn't want to say it, but then they made me say it. And I was like, <laughs> it's oh. really funny. Mm -hmm. And when did you move? So when did you move to LA? Like when, so when did it click for you that like, A, mm -hmm. this could be a way of life, right? Or you could do this for a living and yeah. B, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. So when did all that? Happen? I took down. I studied at the studio, and I was jumping into Manhattan to take classes, like when I was 13. And then I got into the High School of Performing Arts, the Fame High School of Performing Arts, and then it got serious. And I was at Lincoln Center studying, like in the morning, like I'd be at the bar at 8 a.m. And, and then it became serious that I was like, you know, studying and, and gaining craft. 
and right. then and then I started working. I was on a TV show, you know, and then I just um, uh, I, I competed in competition in the competition dance world for maybe like four years, and then I um, after this, you know, I, I didn't graduate high school. I ended up just having gotten some work and doing some commercials, and then I just got on a plane, I got on a plane, a choreographer brought me to LA for two weeks to do like a Levi industrial, a Levi's industrial. And so I was here in LA for two weeks and I was surrounded by like, you know, dancers like Lori Warner and Chris Childers and, uh, you know, a lot of people that I, that ended up becoming friends or people that I worked with. <laughs> And I really liked it here. And then I met Marguerite Derricks. She grabbed me, scooped me up. Julie McDonald. I got I got signed. I got put on a job, like just direct booked by a man named Russell Clark. And mm -hmm. so he was oh, a choreographer. He was a very a really nice man. He was a choreographer. He put me on a job, and I started working. And then shortly after I met, I w walked into a private audition. Julie McDonald set up a private call from just me and Paula Abdul. And I just went in the room and she had her a few assistants with her. She put on her music and I just freestyled for her. And then she hired me for her American Music Awards performance where I met Tina Landon. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. so great. So you were working, see, I knew that cause I was like, I yeah. knew you were just a new dancer when I met you when I saw you and the funny thing is I was thinking about that just the other day because I was you know you're going back like wait how did I meet Tyson when did we meet but I remember so we were doing uh escapade with Janet yes. Yes. and you guys don't tell me don't tell me you were doing uh was it cold hearted snake no but it was the Fosse number no we were doing the way that you love me with 16 guys and Paula with the scaffolding. We opened the American Music Awards and yeah. it was a, it was a wonderful, wonderful introduction to LA with a very, you know, she was at the top of her, her, her game. And this performance was iconic because it, she ended up winning an Emmy Award for it. And it was really a, a beautiful number. And, um, and, I was, and I was featured in it, but I do remember like very, very vividly that you came around the corner and you came around and we met each other. You came around to introduce yourself and I met you and I was like, oh my God. It's like, yeah. like, cause, cause for me, like, like, you know, the, the dream was like, you know, I, I mean, I, I didn't really, I wasn't, I was familiar with Paula's songs, but she wasn't around as much as an artist as Janet was. And so. Yeah, started actually. I want to say it was, like you said, she she was kind of just rising at that time. Yeah. And I remember specifically, because so when we're at these award shows, right? Yeah. We're, we're doing two things as dancers. We are scoping out the other dancers, like what are they doing? What's happening? Are they as good? And then you're also there going, you're 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 um you're hyping up your friends and you're you know, you're there fan, you know, fanning for them. And so I remember but I didn't know uh Tice at the time and so I went around the corner and I was watching you guys um rehearse yes. and I remember I swear to god it was like I was watching Brizhnikov because you were doing these jetés in the air right and I don't know if they were like Russians or if they were toe touches yes yeah, like swing switch second splits yeah. yeah right so and that was always like because I was I've said this before that I always wanted to do what the guys did and I, but I didn't I mean Tyson jumps were up here, like mine were down here, right? My big heavy legs and whatever. But I was pretty good at those jumps for a girl, but I still had no height. So it was like anytime you see someone that does a trick or does a um, a technique that you just wish you could do that good. And I just went, my mouth was on the floor. And if it was a competition, I'm like, oh, they're going to beat us tonight. <laughs> because we were doing, I mean, our escapade was great and we were having fun. But to me, I was just like, oh, they're just like, they're doing like hard jazz, right? Like full yeah, out. Yeah. And I'll never forget that image in my head because I didn't know him, but I was like, I need to know who that guy is. Like, he is fantastic. And I was happy you came around the corner. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. 
yeah so for me I just like that was like the my end all be all like I I I you know I had dreamed of working with Tina and Janet and but you know that performance of course had some I mean I feel like who was in that in that performance was Eddie Garcia a part of that performance no honestly I don't know we'd have to look back because I never I can not remember anything but I do know that we had because we were trying to do a recreation of the video yes Um, so there was all of us, you know, that Anthony had hired. Uh, I'm sure Lori Warner was there. And yeah. I know we had other dancers. I don't know if Eddie was there, but if he was, you know, he was doing his 50 million pirouettes, right? So that when anyone hired Eddie was like, yeah, can you just do your, cause he was in nasty. He's the one who does all the oh, pirouettes okay. nasty, right? So I honestly don't remember Tice if he was in that or not. I feel like maybe like the names like Art Palmer might've been a part with there. Yeah, what an amazing guy. And like, and Eddie Garcia was literally like one of the greatest dancers. I mean, too, as well. He's like so fantastic. I mean, yeah, I just, I always looked up to him. And, and then I finally met him when I got to LA and he was as nice as he was talented. And that really, yeah. that really spoke to me. Yeah, it was so cool. But uh, yeah, that's where I met, that's where I met Tina. And then I just, I stayed in LA. I literally packed for two weeks. And I just stayed in LA and then I just kind of, it just kept uh, snowballing, like, you know. <laughs> when you're that talented, it doesn't surprise me at all. That is, that is awesome. 